My name is Sharon Sabina Natarajan. Uh, most of my life I grew up in Bombay and uh, growing up I, my family is non-Christian so I never had any kind of a Christian teaching or uh, Christian principles or anything about Christian faith. I come from a family where education is given a very big importance in life and uh, uh, most everyone is very highly qualified. My mother's side, people uh, they come from zamindar um, background, and uh, even during those days, both girls and boys were highly educated. Uh, my father is uh, an engineer, and uh, he passed out from a very well reputed REC college. He was holding a very high post in a multinational company in Bombay. And we were a very small family, just me and my sister, my father and mother. And from a very young age, um, I was uh, creatively inclined, so was very much interested in the creative arts, was performing, studied uh, performing arts and uh, graduated in uh, Odyssey, also did painting and this is how my early life, my childhood and my growing up teenage life was which was just full of uh, performances, theatre, art and just like any other ordinary girl my age. My parents were very loving and they gave me all that they could and much more. I never lacked anything in life and uh, uh, that's how I grew up. My father wanted me to pursue a technical education since he was an engineer. Though I was, by the time I did my higher secondary, I was uh, performing all over the country, uh, dancing, dance dramas, theater, acting. And, uh, but since he wanted me to be an engineer, so I applied for it and I got into a very good college, one of the top college in Pune, engineering college. And engineering was not my cup of tea, but uh, um, I just did that to make my parents happy. And uh, I was pursuing engineering, so I went to Pune to pursue engineering. And I was also doing parallelly my uh, uh, performing arts graduation. And then when I was in Pune in my uh, second semester, something happened which uh, changed my entire life. I still remember one day um, in, in my second semester I was uh, studying I had a room all to myself and uh, I was studying because exams were coming and I, I, I clearly remember that day I was doing my journal sitting on a table and writing my journal I had locked the room from inside because I wanted to be I wanted to have privacy and uh, exam pressure was there on my head and suddenly I hear a voice uh, calling me to pray and uh, the first thing I did was turn back and look behind and when I did that I didn't see anyone and the second thing which happened was fear I thought that I'm going mad how can I hear voices I'm hallucinating something has gone wrong with me so I, I just tried to ignore that voice and I, I just uh, started studying again and again that voice called me to pray called my, my name that pray and uh, I couldn't ignore the voice anymore and it kept on coming in my head and as if it was all around me asking me to pray. And then I looked at my uh, watch and it was 1.30 in the afternoon. And I realized that uh, while growing up my parents had taught me their religion and what they followed and I used to practice the religion whatever my parents taught just like a ritual. So they taught me how to pray during a set time, during particular time of the day. And when I looked at my watch on that day and I saw 1.30, I realized that the prayer time had gone and I didn't know how to pray. And I was just confused sitting there, didn't know what to do and I couldn't ignore the voice also. So I just closed my eyes and I just sat there and I said in my heart that uh, uh, I don't know who is this who's calling me to pray, but if there is a God, in this world 
I want to see you. I have never seen you. I, have, I don't know whether there is a God or whether there is no God. But if there is a God and if He is real, I want to see the true God. I just said that in my heart and for the first time in my life with my eyes closed, I saw a vision. I saw someone standing in front of me. There was a bright light. I could not see the face. But I knew in my heart immediately that this was Jesus. There was, there was no doubt that whether he is uh, Jesus. He didn't say that I am Jesus or it was not written anywhere that this is Jesus. I just knew this, that this person is Jesus. And the next minute I was down on my knees and I just started crying. There was so much of love coming out from that form, the person who was standing in front of me. And I just started crying and crying. And I, I just couldn't stop my tears. And at the same time, I just, as if I could look at my own heart and I saw so many dark spots, so many things which I've never, which I never knew I had. I saw that I had so much of pride. I saw that I, I was so self-righteous. I thought my life was, everything was okay. There was, there's no problem in my life, but I never knew that I had pride and so much of self-righteousness. And, and I was so selfish. And I remember kneeling down, crying and asking that I don't know who you are, Jesus, but I know I need you in my life. And I kept crying and I kept saying that. And I was like that for quite some time. And then that, that form in front of me, the person who was standing in front of me just disappeared. And I opened my eyes and I saw, looked at my watch and it was 2.15. So I realized for 45 minutes I was like that in that position and the f next thing which happened to me was fear. I just felt that I have gone mad, something's really gone wrong with me. I ran out of the room and the first person who came, the name which came to my mind was one girl in that girl's hostel uh, who was the only Christian girl in the entire hostel. Her name came to my mind and she was from a different department. So I just went to her room and I just opened the door and she was sleeping. I woke her up and I said, you know, when I asked for the true God, I saw Jesus. Why did I see Jesus? I am not a Christian. Why did I see Jesus? And I think she got afraid looking at me because my eyes were red and uh, with crying. So she didn't know what to do and she had a Bible on her table and she gave me the Bible. And she said, read this book. If Jesus has shown himself to you, he will. So I took the Bible which my friend gave me and I went to my room and from 8 o'clock I started reading in the night and I con continued reading till 3 in the morning and I just kept reading and kept reading and I've never read a book like that in my entire life as if every word was just popping out of the pages and speaking to me. It was, it was an alive book and after I read and I uh, till 3 in the morning the next 3 days was like a battle in my mind that why did I see Jesus who's this Jesus it was not that someone had come and told me about Jesus or or somebody had brainwashed or me about Jesus or I've never even been to a church I only knew that Jesus is the god of the Christians and um, that's all I I I don't have a Christian friend or I never felt the need of knowing Jesus or going to a church ever before and I never even searched God or I never I was not going through any anything then why why did I see God and why did I see Jesus and for three days this battle was going on in my mind my father had taught me to always be uh, reason things out to logically think uh, solve every problem that I face in life. That is what I had learned growing up. And for this kind of a thing which happened in my life, I didn't have any, uh, I couldn't reason it. I couldn't, I, I couldn't decide what to do and how to do it and what I should do with what I have seen. So after three days, I went back to my friend and I said, uh, you have to tell me more about Jesus. And uh, that was the time she took me to a, a meeting of international students and uh, from that day onwards I started reading the Bible and I started knowing more about Jesus and God became real to me he, he just suddenly became alive in my life and 
I, I could relate to this God, I could relate, I could talk to Him and I could pray to Him, not as a ritual but very personal, He became very personal and I realized that if there is a Creator and uh, uh, the Creator will always want to know His creation, will want to be connected to His creation and that's what happened to me as if I got connected to my Creator. As I continued reading the Bible and knowing Jesus more and more, I started seeing things in a completely different way. Um, I started, I, I knew more about, I knew things like compassion. I started understanding what is, what is compassion, what is forgiveness, um, what is mercy. Uh, these things were new to me. I never knew uh, about these things. and. Uh, my life changed and I started looking at people with a, with a different, uh, in a different way uh, and Jesus became my friend and as days went by, my, uh, I couldn't explain this change to my parents uh, and, and they couldn't understand initially, it took a long time for them to understand. So I had, a point came in my life where I had to make a choice because my parents didn't want me to uh, follow Jesus. I had to make a choice whether to leave Jesus or to uh, leave my parents and I had to make a very painful choice of uh, leaving my parents and I knew it was going to be for a short while uh, till they are able to understand the change which happened to me and you see this change was not something which was uh, external. It was not that I became a hermit or I um, you know, started behaving in a different way. It was just a change which happened inside me and uh, as if I, uh, I was enlightened, I was in darkness and suddenly I saw light. So uh, it was a very painful time I had to go through uh, not having any connection with my parents but uh, Jesus was with me throughout and He just took me step by step in my life. I. Uh, came to Chennai from Bombay and I started working in advertising and uh, I, I, was, I started doing very well in advertising, started handling very big accounts um, of uh, multinational companies uh, in the advertising agency and then uh, suddenly one, one uh, year there was a slump in the advertising world and most of the agencies were closing down. So I had to also leave my agency and I got a job in another company. And during that time I was working for a, uh, I was handling an, a big account, a public sector account. So I went to meet my client and I said that sir I am I'm leaving this uh, agency because I got a, another job and this agency is closing down. And uh, my client, uh, uh, this happened to be one of the leading public sectors of our country and he just looked at me and he said, I'm so happy with your work, I want you to continue uh, with us and I just looked at him amazed, I said, how can I continue because I don't even, I mean I was working for someone and that company closed down so I cannot continue for you. He said, what do you want, you just need a, a name for a proprietor uh, company and I, I will give you the entire southern account of this public sector company. And I, I was so amazed, I didn't even think that I should be doing something like that and there started my journey in, in starting my own firm, advertising firm. And I remember I started in a juice shop and uh, I used to sit in that juice shop and do all my designs and all my work and uh, I, I would tell that juice shop guy, give me juice every two hours and that's how I started and uh, there was no looking back and that the work which I did for that public sector company became a nationwide hit. It became very, it got appreciated nationwide and from there onwards one after the other um, more and more accounts came and I, I, I had an office of my own. A time came when I had around 150 people working at one point of time and from there I went to, uh, started a, a, a outsourced design firm uh, with two other Americans um, based out of Wisconsin Madison and through all this I only see how uh, my God, my Jesus helped me because 
when I had to leave my family because I was, uh, I wanted to follow Jesus, I wanted to uh, believe in Jesus, at that time I had nothing. I, I just, I was left, I just had my qualification and just me, that's all. And, and from that stage, the way I did this, uh, my, I started my own company and how it just grew from one step to the other. It, it, for me, it was, it was only Jesus because of him. I could do this and he guided me all throughout because I would my Bible became my my uh, my daily book I would read the Bible and I would get every instruction and inspiration and motivation and encouragement from the Bible it gave me hope it gave me a uh, new life and uh, everything that I about life I found in the Bible and that's how I, I just went from one level to the other and finally I uh, me along with a few of my friends and my husband who I met in Chennai and I got married to him a wonderful man I we started an education venture um, in art and design and uh, we started an education college in art and design looking back uh, at my life and the journey that I so far has been I can only see how how Jesus made a whole new difference in my life from the point before my life before I knew Jesus and my life after I knew Jesus it was as if I found a purpose it was not that my life uh, I had a I, I was searching for something or there was majorly everything was going wrong in my life it was not like that but from the moment I discovered Jesus and I started to know him things changed I, I had a purpose life was no longer about having a good family a good education a good career a good job and one fine day dying life was no longer that for me it was uh, life had a purpose and um, a meaning and I had a vision which I could live for and um, that changed, that changed my entire outlook towards life and uh, I realized that God and Jesus, he's, he's a reality He's not a religion but a reality for me and most importantly after 10 years I finally reconciled back with my family and now my family, my mother, father and all of my family members they accept me just the way I am they see the change in me and they appreciate me for who I am and uh, this could happen only because uh, my faith, because of my faith and my belief in my God which is Jesus Christ.